selected. This discussion will involve two parts. The first part discuss the issue of should children be permitted to work and the second part discuss uh, the issue of should older worker be recruited. So we hope you enjoy it. Reserve Binti Tuan Ali, my matchmate number H1980874. Okay, so today I want to talk about should children be permitted to a work. For me, it's no, uh, because children should go to school to be educated person, to get education uh, from the school. Okay, because education is a, what has been a country economic success. Without education, there is bound to be a decrease in employment later on due of lack of uh, education skill. Um, this will uh, turn into poverty living then to give up their children for labor. It will be never ending circle if it's don't stop now. This will also increase the country other uh, literacy rate. Uh, listening is important uh, to UNICEF because it's an uh, educated country. However, if the students stop the level and go to school, this will this will end and end up facing the country benefit will be gone. Okay. So, uh, children should go to school first, not to go to work to get money or what, because that that is not their responsibility to get money. Because the first point is, children should go to school and get education. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nashadira binti Muhammad Rosdi. My number battery is H one nine A zero three seven five. I want to discuss about time management uh, with the issue uh, should children be permitted to it. In my opinion, the issue of children is allowed to work has it pro and cons. As we know, the uses of a labor among children, the exploitation of it differ from one country to another country. Country with a high population and extreme level of poverty are seeing more children go out to work. In example, in the 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 number of a uh, the number of a child labor is close to or possibly higher than the entire population of Malaysia. The the problem of a labor among children and young people in Malaysia is an issue that is often debated because when a child or teenager work, it will be neglect his responsibility as a student. So, I want to bring you, especially working children or teenager, to know how they want to manage their time. So, whether you are working to put yourself through a college or you are someone who will return to school to advise uh, to advise uh, your current career, managing time is uh, your professional and academic life is uh, not an easy task. Especially when you have additional responsibility competing for your time, such as raising children. We lament how our busy life make it hard to keep up with it and how we wish 
the they were more hour in a day why i have no doubt that her many people are really busy the honest uh, the honest truth is uh, that is uh, not the lack of a time that is usually not a problem but poor time management i just want to give you three tips to help you make the most of your time while try trying to tailor your assignment and lesson the first is make a schedule creating an order is the first step in successful managing your time and creating a schedule definitely help place an order we write your day in 30 minutes and start by filling in all the inflexible set events such as class and work time second Learn to sacrifice. You are entitled to enjoy the pleasure of your life. But if you are trying to achieve bigger goal to advise your career or make life better for you and your children, this requires discipline. If pursuing your dream job means watching a little less TV or fewer video on YouTube, I think it worth the sacrifice. Lastly, working reducing delay. Humans are a funny bunch and we often put off doing things that really need to be done sooner rather than later. Usually, those tasks are less than thrilling like doing reading for your most boring class or tech tackling a research paper that account for the majority of your grade. Procrastination and effective time management do not work well for most people. It always helps to think of all the negative things uh, that will cause you to strip off your schoolwork until the last minute possible the last minute possible it will be definitely be worse than actually doing what you are supposed to do not matter how hard or boring it is Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, I'm Shahira Binti Omar My number metric H1980855 Today in this video, I will discuss about should children be permitted to work Firstly, the issue uh, about safety issue. Will children uh, work at young age? Um, because uh, young workers are a heterogeneous group of workers and many factors influence risk, accidents and occupational diseases are exposed to them. Um, hence, it is very dangerous to work at young age as well as give uh, effect uh, the help and will affect the the time to children when the children is have a risk uh, about healthy and it give it a effect the future of child too. Therefore, they are too young uh, to work. And most importantly about uh, ISU safety is. Uh, safety in a workplace when the children must be bullying for, um, from junior from senior worker another thing is about a uh, safety issue when the children permitted to work is about uh, the children lack of information about safety in uh, at workplace and finally kids should be able to enjoy their childhood as much as possible uh, before they are changed uh, to a job. That's all for me about safety issue uh, about children be permitted to work. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nur Nabila Binti Mama Razali and my metric number is h 190564 Alright, in my opinion about should children be permitted to work, uh, for me, not many children are, uh, not many children like to work unless some of them are forced labor. Therefore, they are paid low wages. 
This is because the employers take advantage even though the nature of their work is the same as that of adults. Next, unsafe and dirty workplace. Children given unsafe and dirty job will be exposed to various diseases. Employers uh, who are not concerned about chill workers will raise health and safety issues. Alright, for the last one, witnesses of law enforcement. This is because employers dare to break the law. For example, the culture of corruption that occur among enforcement officials. Therefore, children fall victim to a legal system that is supposed to protect them. Alright, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Uh, I'm Afika Binti Jakarta. Metric number H19A006. Uh, based on the issue about should children be permitted to work, uh, in my opinion, I don't agree with that statement because uh, mostly today, many child laborers are taking advantage of the exploited by some parties. This is because they are exploited by those looking for a quick buck, which is money. This exploitation often includes sexual or near slavery situations. Uh, poverty of, uh, is one of the causes of the exploitation in child labor because they are desperate to support their living standard and their families. So that these exploiters take the opportunity to pay lower wages to them because this child labor will not demand uh, labor rights and they will perform all the tasks directed to them. Their families do not have the income to support their family, so child labor is the solution for their families. Uh, thus, these child laborers uh, have a low level of education because they get to uh, exploited as they are forced to leave school due, due to a lack of financial resources, so they are forced to work and they do not have the tools needed to defend themselves or avoid being exploited to a, due to their low level of education. They assume that being exploited is a good thing and benefits for them, but the reality is the opposite. The exploitation of child labor has led to endless poverty. In this case, their income are gone due to their high standard of living, and half of their salaries are exploited by their irresponsible employers who are supposed to pay them higher wages. They, they see child labor as a weak and insignificant so that this poverty causes stagnant economic development. This exploited child labor causes negative psychological effect on themselves. With this, they have pure health as they are forced to work until more hours of work as they should. They also suffer from lack of mental health, so they have slow self-esteem and have social problems and take the easy way out by taking drugs and alcohol to relieve stress and their burdens. Therefore, authorities must tighten control in preventing exploitation of child labor as well as human trafficking, especially of children and bring offenders to justice and impose appropriate punishments. That's all for me. Thank you. This is my resume. Hello, my name is Mila. I am 50 years old. I have a lot of experience in management field. I would like to apply for manager position. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Akmal Afi bin Mamarazi and my machine number is h 19 a 2021 Okay, today uh, I will uh, answer the question uh, about should all the worker need to be recruited by uh, the other company? Okay, uh, for me, um, of course, uh, of course, yes. This is because based on a study conducted by an 
international call the cogito study did a study on young and old worker and the result of the study showed the performance of other worker did not change from day to day compared to young workers who went down and increased their performance okay uh, on top of that too these are the employees have higher motivation than youngest people okay for example Heather Tinsley Fix Senior Advisor Financial Relation Programming at AARP Washington DC said they include employees in their 50 years old with, with extensive temporary experience 74 years old internet pioneer Winton self in fact this show that a lot of experience who are aged according to qualification. Okay, true. Most of company are reluctant to hire all the employees because of their level of health and physical health, which is is not as active as the youngest employees. Okay, but in one's weakness they we definitely can be an advantage for themselves okay uh, in addition the other workers who are transferred can be can be a role model to the youngest worker from various aspects who will be able to change the further improve the quality of their work okay uh, so uh, for me of course and no problem that I can agree that company can hire other workers or all the employees to gain the experience as well as the advantage they have okay I think that's all from me um, thank you hi hello my name is Nur Shamina Jabinti Usaini uh, my matric number is H19 0723 Okay, so I will tell about why many company doesn't want to recruit the older worker. Companies constantly on the pro for employees with experience so that once the employee they are not completely at sea about what they need to do and how they ought to behave in corporate setting. However, this being said, while a little experience is must desire office are not often willing to employ other workers to their firm for several reasons. Recruiters and hiring managers sometimes believe older workers are less progressive and less capable of learning new things or have salary desire that can be made. However, as separation is a noteworthy issue that keeps a few laborers from understanding their objective or push them out entirely. One of the major disadvantage of hiring someone older is that he or she will be closer to the age of retirement as opposed to someone who is much younger and can work for a longer period. Depends on their health problem. Someone younger will be able to stick around for a longer time thereby saving the company or uh, the trouble of looking for a new employee all over again. In other words, if you are older, you are likely to be considered less capable, less able to adapt or less willing to roll up your sleeves and do something new than your younger peers. As we know that of their age related physical and mental will decline and that as employees age they are likely to have more health issues because of that many companies doesn't want to recruit other workers all of them will make the companies become more affected okay that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum and pleased to meet you i am Norhaslina binti nardin with metric number h1 9A0424. I will continue my group discussion on the issue regarding should all the worker be recruited. For me, 
it's very worth it and I agree I put more expensive on role model role model can be considered as important agent category that can be discussion from traditional mentor in particular on the fisco social side because individual over the age of 40 are considered to have a stable sense of self they will be less in need of development although employee are understood to have ongoing development needs role model are seen as important for the development of individual skill and identities but are only considered important in the early stage of career and younger individual i argue that the commitment and satisfaction of older employee in the organi in the organization will be linked to their perception of exciting role model older employee make excellent mentor and role model to younger employees therefore this help in the tr in the training of other employee besides being efficient they make great listener and outspoken in their suggestion and recommendation that can really be seen as a bonus result for the idea of organization improvement they are also known to have excellent communication skill through many years of experience other employees also understand workplace politics and know how to communicate their idea diplomatically to the boss all of which goes hand in hand with the maturity that comes from years of life and work experience making it an intangible value by business owner in conclusion all the employee also need to be recruited because the role model they have are able to have a positive impact on the organizational as well as other employees that's all thank you hello and assalamualaikum my name is Nur Wahida Wiji Sobiri Fakti Siregar. My matrix number is 1980729. So, older workers are simply far more costly than a younger workers and retaining or recreating them is a not a financially sound workforce strategy. Older employees usually earn higher pay and wages, their insurance plan are more costly, their pension expenses rise with age and a career length, and they get a much more accuracy day. They are actually more expensive and laying them off or not hiring them in the first place is a valid financial choices. These are all the stereotypes stereotype that we often hear about hiring older workers. In my opinion, older workers should be recruited and this has nothing to do with increased cost. The higher compensation of older workers reflect in a large part their accumulated value resulting from extensive work experience, ongoing training, professional development, costs are minimal but are not considered. Despite increasing evidence that older workers are more productive and have fewer absence, there is no consideration given to the economic value or contribution of higher paid older workers. In fact, defined contribution, DEC, retirement saving and plan for outnumber DP pension and DC plan costs are largely unrelated to age or length of service. The old higher pension cost argument is a far less meaningful. It's true that many employers provide more paid vacation to long service employees. 
this has bearing on a current employees but it's irrelevant to newly hire or older workers. The additional vacation days provide to a long service and a older workers is in a part offset by the record for fewer absence and a greater reliability. However, older employees are not discriminated against in a term of ability, identification, job and advancement or exclusion from educational. In conclusion, Traditional accounting does not consider productivity and a cost avoid or reduce. Herein is the key to the economic justification for the retention and attraction of age 50 plus workers. Older workers are more productive, have a lower turnover, stay with an with an employer considerable longer than younger individual and possess the accumulate knowledge and skill of a lifetime. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mabina Binti Badrisham. is 0532. Uh, I, so I will continue uh, our group discussion on the issue of should other worker to be recruited. Exactly, my point is efficiency and uniqueness. As we know, uh, if employees who are productive have a good outlook and an open mind, they are emotionally there and work and lead in a clear and productive manner, even when under duress they maintain a calm dominance. Employees with an open mind have better learning skills and are better performance solvers. Here, I emphasize that it is very appropriate efficiency and willingness to be categorized as older workers who mostly meet these characteristics. All the staff are perfect employees due to their efficiency and willingness to share their recommendations and ideas. Their years of experience in the workplace have given them a superior uh, understanding of how employment can be performed more effectively, resulting in cost saving for business. Their task management has grown over time and they will share their ideas with management without hesitation. The older workforce has been around for a long time, so they've seen a lot and have a lot of experience. Gain from their experience and knowledge of the company and function encourage the younger members of the team to take notes. As a result, they will apply their knowledge and come up with a new approach or solution to help the organization accomplish its objective while also preventing problems from happening. As a result, a community was born that involved without uh, sacrificing its progress by leveraging its previous experience. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you.